what up y'all so i just got back from my voice lesson and it was really good like you know it was like an hour and um i feel like if she did use her time effectively like i was paying attention to that making sure that you know um she didn't get distracted or, or anything like that and i think that's really important to pay attention to like when you're taking a voice lesson uh, make sure that you're just you're there like it's you're there she's like you know whoever you're going to that they're on the the job they're working and you know they're not talking or getting distracted and stuff like that so she made very well use of her time our our time and um and I think that and another thing is like we did some really good exercises which I recorded it and so I'm going to practice that this week but next week I'm actually going to uh, just to have her do the exercises for me and so that I can follow along more, you know, accurately. Cause you know, when I'm singing like the exercises myself, I may not be seeing, you know, hitting the notes right. So she's going to do that for me. She's going, you know, I'm going to go there 30 minutes and she's going to put all the exercises on my phone, which is okay. Cause then I could still practice the exercises when I get home. Um, but then, uh, I think that's a smart way to do it. You know, so if she decides to change the exercises or whatever, then we can like get right into just singing, you know, uh, but I need to do my diligence and make sure that I'm practicing like every single day. Um, I, I do like her because the fact is that, you know, she is like her background is classical, but she was very, um, you know, she knows how to te teach theory where like you can sing any style of any style you want to. And so my style is like Aretha Franklin, Mariah Carey. Like I am more like a ballad kind of person. And so it's like I like to just want to, I want to belt it out, you know. And like I like Whitney Houston, Celine Dion. Like those are the kind of the singers that I aspire to be like. So um, I do like Jewel, by the way. Um, I do sound a lot like Jewel when I'm singing. But I think that's cool too because it's like a different style where it's like more airy. Um, and like, you know, Sarah McLaughlin is very, um, aerial like, but then like, you know, to be able to have contrast where it's like you have edge, like when I'm listening to Aretha Franklin, like she just like, ugh, like she belts it out. It's very powerful, very strong, but it's just like, that's my soul. Like that's my inner soul, <laughs> you know? Um, and I'm really like drawn to like blues and, um, you know, just like that style of music, just because I feel it in my, you know, in the fiber of my being, you know, um, I don't know if y'all believe in past lives as well, but like, I, I know that that's like part one of my past lives. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay. But right now I had a good lesson, but I think I'm going to enjoy some Aretha Franklin. I'm going to practice and I'm going to get really professional on this channel. Like I feel like me taking that, the voice lessons and, um, you know, taking it serious every single week, I'm going to get like serious about my YouTube channel. Um, I think that my videos before were okay. You know, it's just me getting comfortable with the camera. Um, you know, and I can just actually talk and I'm not, I don't care what people think or anything like that. I think that it's important, you know, when you have a YouTube channel to get to that point, cause you really need to get to that point. You need to be a strong person, um, in that area because you know, if you have people that don't agree or, you know, people that just whatever <laughs> you just gotta be you gotta be strong you know you have to just be, keep doing you you know and I noticed that with like any YouTube channel out there it doesn't matter like um they always have people that like really hate on their YouTube channel um and they try to just like prevent them from like just being who they are like you know Trisha Paytas gets a lot of slack but the thing is Trisha Paytas just keeps doing her thing you know she really likes to make music videos uh, she likes to sing and you know against all criticism aside like she just keeps moving forward and she keeps getting better like her voice sounds a lot better I think her music videos are even better uh, than they were before and it's just because she's putting her heart and soul into it it's something that she loves and you know that's awesome it's not really my style of music but I just I give her credit to be able to continue to do her own thing. Uh, you know, Dan the Man, for example, he's been doing the raw food for like, you know, the longest time. And sometimes he has a lot of, you know, people give him a lot of slack about like his, you know, like, oh, Dan, like, are you eating honey? And just, just asking retarded questions, you know, asking him like, Dan, are you really a vegan? Because like, I can't join your religion, you know, if you're not a hundred percent vegan. It's just like stupid people out there. 
So it's like you just have to be you just have to do you and just be strong, you know? And so that's me. Like I put my videos out there. I was being just myself. And um you know, and I just want to continue to just be comfortable. I think that's really important. But it's going to get professional. It's going to get like I'm going to actually start to have skill to this YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of things to consider about YouTube, just making a video. It's all about Okay, so this makes a good video first of all. <laughs> is get to the point. That makes a good video. Um, like if you're, you know, giving a speech to people, you're going to like want to like have like a formula so that people can actually follow it and be engaged. But if you're like all over the place, it's just going to get, it's going to fall flat. It's going to get boring. So I've noticed that about my own videos that a lot of them, sometimes they fall flat. You know, it's not edited in the least bit really. It's just kind of like, I might be saying the same thing over and over. Um, not to mention the lighting is not always the best. My makeup's not always done. Like I, you know, my hair could be stringy. Um, so I want to be more um, aware of my appearance and I want to, you know, actually put, just look good in the camera. Like, <laughs> and I also want to have better lighting. I want, you know, better equipment, but everything is in divine order. Everything is in divine order. So I think that the key to success is like I say, being um, in tune and being, you know, paying attention to when inspiration is coming uh, and act upon it, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Like, for example, I saw those people uh, just the other day. It was like a couple of days ago. And then she talked about voice lessons. And because my brain was like focused on voice lessons, I jumped on the opportunity. I said, okay, I have the money. Um, I'm going to pay for that voice lesson. Let's, let's get started. And so I did that. You know, I didn't have to do that. I could have just said, oh, well, I need to save my money for a video camera first. Da, 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 da. You know, I could have try to pave my own way but it was like the savior showed me like no Virginia like work on this first take a voice lesson that's that is a priority right there that's you know more important than anything you need to do that and then I'm like okay and I took upon it you know that opportunity um so I really think it's so important like to pay attention to divine order and you know the savior um the universe it's going to present what is important and you got to recognize it when it's there you know you you got to like say okay well this is happening for a reason so i need to act upon this and don't try to do things your way all the time like i like my head yes i was thinking about voice lessons but i was like my like my natural order of things was thinking like no i need to get a camera first i need to do this first but the savior told me otherwise he said no virginia actually you need to take voice lessons first and then worry about the camera so if i pay attention to that and listen to it then everything else is going to fall into place and that's what i think that's the that's the key to success because if you do things out of order it just doesn't work it kind of flops you know, if I would have got the camera first, then I wouldn't have really had the content anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay, my videos, they're okay. They're, I mean, they're honestly, like, I already know straight up. They're not entertaining, okay? It's not going to bring a lot of traffic, but it's cool. I'm using my iPhone. That's how I upload my videos. It's not a special camera or anything like that. But the thing is, like, I don't have the content anyway. You know, but as soon as I start singing, then it's smarter that I actually get like a better camera and I start getting more professional. But the videos that I've been doing now is more just getting comfortable with the camera and just being able to talk freely and just have fun, you know? So that's what I've been doing lately, but um, it's definitely not worthy at the moment <laughs> to give me like a really good camera just to be goofy. Like that, nah, that's not smart. So, uh, but you know, I, everything has been in divine order because I've been first, before I even worried about a camera, I was like, my health is like first and foremost. So that was important. And then because my health was a little bit better and I've been taking care of myself, well then I can sing a little bit better, you know, because like when you're eating a lot of cheese and, and heavy foods, it, it takes away from your voice. But then when you start clearing up and you start detoxing and everything like that, your voice actually sounds better. So bam, there it is, divine order. I took care of my health first, and then here's the voice lesson. Oh, okay, so yeah, health first, and then I started you know, videotaping, 
um, just getting comfortable vlogging. So that was the second step. The third is that I have a voice teacher, so I'm taking that. And then the fourth step is get a good camera. So that's the fourth step. And then when I get my good camera, I'm gonna be back in school and then I'll be able to have the money to actually get me like a really good computer where I can actually do editing and I can be a lot more, you know, serious and professional. But like, you know, fun, but professional. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna always, I might leave all these videos that I've kept on my YouTube channel. I might take them down, who knows. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sing some Aretha right now. I, I, it just lifts my spirits. <laughs> okay, y'all take care. Bye.